So I actually um, read on the um, on the internet that uh, Stephen Mata was looking at the um, they're going to push for the death penalty because um, Ohio is a death penalty state. Now, I mean, obviously, that's not a surprise that they're going to, you know, try to execute this guy uh, after you know what he did. But all right, let's all right. So I wanted to talk about this simply because. The people who are going to execute him are going to are the people who are going to push to have him executed know that he was telling the truth about what was happening with him. So they know that and they're still going to uh, they're going to still kill him. So, uh, you, you, you know, when you really think about this situation and when you know all of the uh, when you know everything you, you need to know, like you, 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 you know, all of the angles. OK, I mean, this is what I mean. You know, when I deal with these people, I just don't even, sometimes I just don't know how I put up with them. Like, you know, what they do. And it's like, you know, it just, it's just, you couldn't make this stuff up. I'm actually thinking about it. I'm like, well, the, 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 the prosecutor knows that the guy was telling the truth and that the people drove him insane. He knows that. And now he's going to execute him. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I was like, well, if this, if these people had even a shred of decency in them, I mean, obviously they're going to have to try him, but if they had even a shred of decency in them, they would have at least allowed, maybe gave him a life with the possibility of parole or something like that. Like, I'm just saying, they know that he was telling the truth. I mean, they know he was right. And they're going to execute him. Gang stalkers, I gotta tell you that no one, even with spirituality, gang stalkers, man, like I just, I can't even think about gang stalkers. Like if I think about them and what they do, there's something, it's just like the worst memory you'll ever have in your life or something. Like gang stalkers, man, like I just, <laughs> like they do so much bad stuff, man. Like they are just so terrible. It's like a, a, a demon or something. That's why I was like, these gang stalkers have to be demons or something, dude. Like they are just so evil. You know, I deal with them and I deal with them. And I don't know how normal people deal with them. I don't even know how these people deal with each other. Like I cannot understand how society got this bad. I mean, society is worse than any dystopian prediction that from the past like this is like a dystopian hellhole nightmare i mean you know and the worst part is that it wasn't always like this uh, when i was younger i don't remember it being anything like this but then again when you're young is it like is it because you just don't see things clearly because you're so young and naive maybe the life was already always like this I don't know, man. Like, the situation with him, like, I was like, well, I mean, if I came at this spiritually, I would just say that the you, he let evil win. But then it's like, I don't know. Like, it's just, uh, this is just a difficult situation. Like, I mean, the gay stalkers have basically killed us all in their own way. I mean, they have. I mean, they if they if they if they're not killing you, if they're not killing you, then you're making it so that they're gonna you're gonna be executed. Then they're just robbing you of every part of your life that's worth anything. I mean, they strip you naked. Gang stalkers, gang stalkers, gang stalkers. That's why you know, um, even after I managed to get past the psychological part of their operation, even just as like a normal settled human being these people man these people are offensive like i'll just i'll look at them like sometimes i'll just sit in this chair and just look at these people and just think <laughs> like, you know i don't even know like i don't even i can't even pray for them i just have to just look at them and think because they are just like dude i'm knocking on wood you know You know, sometimes I don't even know what to say. You know, I make these vlogs. I just, I don't know. I make these vlogs. And I just think about these people. And I think about what they do. And I think about how I ended up in this nightmare. It's not even life. It's just this long nightmare. And it never, it, you know, with these, these demons in this nightmare. And, you know, I don't know. Like, are we all cursed? Is, are we cursed? Like, did we make wrong moves in life? At this point, being around these people, you start questioning everything like it's almost like humanity is cursed or something like you know these gang stalkers i just they are just so terrible 
Like, I mean, I couldn't make up, I could not make this stuff up. That's why I was like, you know, I was the last person out of all people to be convinced that this was real. It was just, it seemed too terrible to be real. And, you know, I, I understand, like, if you didn't know any better how you would be skeptical, man. Like, I just, I wish, I wish it wasn't real. I've spent the better part of this decade wishing that this wasn't real because it's so terrible. Like, these gang stalkers. Like, I just, these gang stalkers. These gang stalkers are like some sort of curse or a hex or some sort of evil creatures from hell and they just they're gremlins or something like they just destroy lives like they just reach out and they just destroy everything in their path and it's like they disguise as humans but they're not like they're monsters and we live around them and there's so many of them now and i'm looking at them like i look at the people in the community i'm just like i cannot believe i have to live around you people like i cannot believe it I cannot believe it. You know, and not just that, but put up with them, put up with every wicked, horrible thing that they, they think up and just put up with it. You know, it just like, that's why I think a lot of people get angry because at the, in the, at the end of the day, that's all you can do. You can just be angry. Like the gang stalkers are angry because they were born and I'm angry because they were born, if we are to be honest. I think we're all angry that they were born. It makes sense for us to feel that way, honestly, unfortunately. But because they exist, we are all cursed. We're damned simply because these people exist. Stephen Maddow, this dude, his, his life is gone. Let's just let's just admit that. His life is, I mean, they're going to execute the guy and like he was trying to be nice by not killing any more people. I was like, well, you know, I mean, they're going to execute him anyhow. I mean, what the hell difference did it make? <laughs> I mean, that's why I was just like, he must have just really been nice or just had, I, I don't know, like something in him made him not go further. Like, I mean, he should have known he was going to be executed. Like he could have killed the cops. He could have killed every single person he saw. He could have been a mass shooter. He could have killed everybody. Let's talk about this, okay? The 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 guy, uh, what's it, that Nicholas Cruz guy? They didn't even execute him. They didn't execute Nicholas Cruz. After all the people he killed, he's going to get life in prison without the possibility of parole. They're going to execute the T.I. The per the least out of all of the mass shooters, he is the most innocent out of all the mass shooters, and he's getting the uh death penalty i'm pretty sure like i'm not sure does nicholas cruz in the death penalty state i don't know that like i'm actually gonna research that to find out but nicholas cruz is getting off of life in prison and the ti the guy who was terrorized by the gang stalkers and all the people that including the people who want to execute him know that it wasn't his fault they're the ones who are going to push to have him executed so Gang stalkers, gang stalkers, gang stalkers. Can I hold my breath and they'll just disappear? Are they a curse? Are they a curse? Are we... Are they a curse? Like, I look at them and I'm like, am I cursed? Are you some, some sort of demonic entity that crawled out of hell and you're here to terrorize and torment? You know, I see gang stalkers, I don't see people. I see these, these demonic entities that are just like here to terrorize us. Like, I don't know. Like, we don't go to hell, but we pay for our sins on earth. This is like, we weren't perfect. So maybe the gang stalkers are punishing us because we're not bad enough to go to hell. So they're like making us suffer on earth so that we can go to heaven. I don't know. Like, I, I actually started coming up with theories for it. I mean, the gang stalkers are just so terrible. I mean, they're so terrible. Just like, I just like, wow. Just wow. Like... I don't even know what to say about them. I mean, I don't even know. Like, I have to, I have to have a drink, a shot, or something to just like. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about Steven, man. Like, dude, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get off the channel, man, and just leave it there.